Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with good guy activism, otherwise known as Vampire Dave or good guy audits or whatever the hell you want to call him. But he is here today to try to get into the Marine Corps recruiting office and stir up some trouble. But you know what? It doesn't exactly go his way. And why would they bother with somebody like him anyway? I mean, he would just take away from uh, the Marine Corps anyway. But you know what? Just for the fun of it, they could ship him off to uh, Paris Island and have him do the Crucible on the first day and see how far he gets. I really doubt that he would survive the first few minutes on that course. That would be certainly a sight to behold, watching this douchebag try to go through the crucible on the first day. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and sit back, relax, and have fun watching him fail. What's up with this dog? You rung the doorbell, you freaking moron. The dog is merely doing its job by alerting his pack that there's somebody in the area that needs their attention. I mean, that's just all there is to it. There's nothing wrong with the dog. Hey, Bill. Hi. Are you open to the public? No. So, what if the public wants to get public information? Yeah, they talked to me about it. What's your name? I'm Guy. Guy who? Can you back up, please? Why would I need to do that? Can you? I just, for my safety. You know? What about my safety? Your safety too, brother. Yeah, you're what active, you right? Today? You're active? Yeah, 100%. Right, so you swore to protect me. How about what's your name? I just told you, Guy. Guy what? Freeman. This little uh, statement right here, this little false statement right here, giving your name in a falsified manner, well, the Marine Corps wouldn't put up with that. In fact, you are liable to get put up on charges in the, with the Uniform Code of Military Justice should you lie to any of your commanding officers, you bloody moron. Which is why I don't think you would be a good fit for the uh, Marine Corps anyway. I mean, you would just lie your ass off and get uh, a less than honorable discharge. But hell, you have no honor anyway, but let's continue on. You. I saw you taking a picture in there. Uh huh. Why you took a picture in there? Why not? What you mean, why not? What you mean, why? Why would you want to take a picture? Why not? Why would you, though? What's your rank? Me? Don't worry about my rank. Yeah, Vampire Dave, I really wouldn't worry about the, his rank if I were you because even if you made it in, I doubt that you would make it past uh, Lance Corporal before you were less than honorably discharged from the Marines. But if you really want to know, his rank is that of a staff sergeant. Yeah, something that you would never be able to achieve with your attitude problems. I mean, they do have certain standards that they have to abide by before you can get to that rank, and, well, you just don't fit any of those qualifications. Why? Why not? Exactly. exactly why the not reason tell me why, your rank? Because exactly the reason why you didn't want to take a... Don't look in there. Excuse me? You want me to, hey, can you call the cops? You call whoever you want. Okay. Why, why are you... Just a, just a, just a question. Like, what, what's the whole purpose of that? Whole purpose of what? Can you stop filming me, please? No, thank you. I'm sorry. We're asking because it's a federal establishment yeah. and, like... What's that mean? It's not okay. It is okay. What, to take pictures in a federal of course. establishment? Of course. It is. If you can show us ID, then we can let you I don't you have in. to show you anything. Do you guys know about the oath that you swore to? Do you know about the so you don't know about the fourth you don't know about the fourth amendment do you don't know, know about the first the, amendment a dumbass you do realize that you have to show your id when you join the military in fact you've got to show a lot of your paperwork in order to join the military and it is not a fourth amendment violation to do so because they want to know exactly 
who you are for many reasons, especially security reasons, because they don't want the wrong people to join them. Now, do they? I guess this is what we pay you to do. How are you? Can you help me gather some public information, like some pamphlets, the phone number for this office, stuff like that? Go. I'm trying to get help and nobody wants to help me. Ridiculous. The United States Marine Corps. This is how they act. Little Davey, have you ever met a Marine in your life? You do know that they're all business and, well, they don't take too kindly to morons like you trying to interrupt their business. Why not? Harassing is not okay. Harassment is a repetitive is action. It's repetitive. This You're is my first time seeing you. I'm waiting for services. For... I came here for a purpose. What service? I told what you I want to gather like? public information. Okay, you swore to protect my rights. Like? Did you know that? You swore to protect the Constitution. Okay, cool. And here you guys are. And here I am. The people that are sworn to protect and fight for us like? acting childish. Because what I came here to take pictures of you. Why would you take pictures of us? Because you work for the army. You're, 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 Actually, we don't work for the army. The army is in Westchester Square Avenue. If you would uh, like excuse to go to their me. office. Excuse me. You work for the armed forces of the United States of okay, America. Okay, that would make sense. Right? So it's called transparency. I could watch you while you're at work. No, Even if you yeah. wasn't at work, if you're in the Actually, public, I could film you, you can because film you're in public. In public. However, and I am in the public. I am in the can. public. That's called private property. This is public property, sweetheart. Uh, no, Davey boy. Uh, that office right there is run by a landlord, a civilian landlord, as you shall soon find out, which basically means it is private property. But also, it is a secure facility with the Marines in it. And that's something you really don't want to mess with right there, my friend. Is it, no, is it, no, it's not. Is it secured? Actually, yes, it is secure. Right. And you keep bringing it, right. so it's not public property. It's still public. It's, it's owned by the property. public. It's no, owned it's by the public. Who owns this? <laughs> this who funds has a, this? An actual landlord, not who funded by. Who funds this, this office? This is by a regular civilian. Did you? Do you Everything that, that goes on in this office, no, who this funds it? This is by a civilian LLC. Ma'am, who funds the Marines? Ma'am, who funds you? I'm not a ma'am. I'm a sir. Oh, Thank you. I, would you I didn't mislead. Me as I didn't miss. So I'm sorry. So you're misgendering me. Um, what's your and rank? That's not okay. What's your name and rank? What's your name? I don't want to do a FOIA request okay. because you guys took so videos of me. So do a FOIA I want to do it here in person. Okay, do it here. Do not delete those videos because it's I'm now not. public information. And that's, if you delete great. it, that's against the law. Okay, that's good. It's called destroying public okay. record. Okay. So that one too. No, I'm a private well, American. You're not a private American. I am. I'm You're private. What public. I do is, yeah, what I, my video is private. So it's called public. Dave, did anybody tell you that your arguments are extremely stupid? Well, they are. Because the moment that you upload this video to YouTube, it's no longer going to be private. It's going to be in the public domain where anybody can use it to make you look like a complete dumbass. But of course, we really don't need to edit it that much to make you look like a complete dumbass. I mean, you do that all by yourself it's this what? is so difficult like you're it's just public you why said that why did you the join the marines so you can record us why did you join the marines why did i join my marines for my own personal yeah. reasons do you remember the oath business. that you took okay can you state can the you protect oath? my rights the now first amendment else? freedom of the can press you, can you do the freedom entire, of speech can you, do the entire oath can you, know you? i didn't take Actually, the oath I, I don't know the oath but you seem to know it and you're asking questions i know about it i know you swore to it as informed Right? As a citizen uh -huh. that wants to use our services. You're the one that's you're asking me for ID. You're the one that's telling me that I'm not. A, this is a federal. Look, this is a secure establishment. The same way you would right. go in any other place. Uh -huh. And they ask you for ID. It's the same is this place a private company or a public company? Establishments needs ID for our protection. You and just yours said, well. ma'am, respectfully. You said we're here to respect you. You right? said we're here to protect you. you yeah. So then allow the us to protect you by, know, by knowing who you are. Identifying yourself 
and we can let you in. We can have a conversation. I'm gonna with exercise you. my Fourth Amendment. Well, little whiny sissy boy, if you feel like your uh, Fourth Amendment has been violated here, why don't you go to the uh, uh, authorities who can help you out with that and get some charges filed on them? Oh wait, I don't think it worked that uh, smoothly for you because you'd have to prove that you were violated. And well, this is a secure building, and most secure buildings do require you to identify. So yeah, I don't think that work out to you for, for you very well, dude. But let's carry on, shall we? Many, many minutes later. Whatever they tell them to do, they just following. Am I waiting for the cops or what? Can you ask if they call the cops? If if they call the cops, I'll wait. If not, I'll leave. Look at that. Look how ridiculous they acting, bro. This shit is crazy. These people are supposed to protect us. That's sad. Shit is sad. You know what's true? They said that this is a product of our education system. That this guy, well, I'm not going to really blame the education system as a whole, considering that there are failures uh, that come out of the education system and there are successes. This is one of the failures, obviously. And, uh, well, he's going to have to bear that mark for the rest of his life, being a complete failure of the education system but you know what when you're training to be a teacher like i have been trained you expect those like him to pass through the system and be com complete failures in life and it is truly unfortunate that not everybody can be successful within the education system just like with anything else you've got the people at the, the top who did their best and the people at the bottom like him well who just flunked out because well they just didn't apply themselves for whatever reason i mean it happens but at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one